after 68 years of impact, respected economist and the founder of Nigeria's first credit rating agency, Olapode Mubashiro Augusto, took a final bow last October. Since his passage, encomiums have not stopped pouring in to eulogize the late pro-chancellor of the Lagos State University. But on Tuesday evening, the tribute rained in torrent like it was not going to stop. Early this year, almost as if he knew his time was on earth, was coming to an end. He called me and said he would like to train the staff of Augusto & Co. for a few days. I thought a few days was what he said, but the teaching went on for many weeks. I hope his numerous, numerous friends and associates will be comforted that he was surrounded by pure love during his battle. No patient in any of the hospitals that Bode was admitted into received visits and visitors the way Bode did. I described him as the finest minister for finance that we never had. Mm -hmm. It's so painful that in many regards, so many of our best are never opportune to serve. Maybe the tribute and remembrance to Bode is that we as Nigerians must learn how to correct that. Otherwise, we will not cause correct. We kept on living in a very vulnerable state. Bode would come in and give us inspiration. During the crisis that Saludo came with, Bode told us you had to make it through and continue to support us. Bode was always present at all our retreats, all our retreats, and we kept fighting. But they would tell us in that his characteristic voice, he would say, what is your ROA? That figure meant everything to Bode. The late Augusto served Nigeria in various capacities, including his appointment as Director General and Special Advisor to former President Olusha Gombasanjo on budget matters and the Chairman of the Lagos State Economic Advisory Committee in the government of former Governor Akil Miambode, among other roles where he rendered his services without a salary. This was a guy who worked for us without payment and offered one of the best services in our government. I want to take this opportunity to pray for his soul. May God forgive his sins. Grant him al if he does as we say in Islam. But that was for the titles mean nothing. Office means nothing. Getting the job done and doing it right was the all-important thing. But De Augusto, as it was fondly called, was also a great hero to his children, grandchildren and other family members. They say he was a father like no other. He taught us how to be a superstar parent. And he will live on in every moment that we show love to one of our own children. As you can probably now tell, our father was completely selfless and his love was unconditional in the truest sense of the word. Thank you for the quality time spent. Thank you for living an exemplary life. Thank you for being a man of integrity. Thank you for being proud of me. Thank you for being a man of peace. Before he left us at the hospital, he said to all of us in the room, and he was speaking to me directly, he said, Shenny, I'm glad you're on the team. I hope you stay the course. A proud alumnus of the prestigious Methodist Boys High School, St. Gregory's College and the University of Lagos, but they sustained friendships of many years with many old schoolmates, regardless of race, religion, or ethnicity. In alphabetical order, we were put into our classes and also our schoolhouses. Bode, of course, Augusto was in A class. And he was in Dinsbury House. The late Bode Augusto will be remembered as a man who created a lot of positive impact in all endeavors he found himself, be it in the financial management sector 
or public service. He spent more than a decade at the Price Waterhouse Coopers, where he rose to the level of partner in 1991. He was also at the Nigeria International Bank, the precursor to Citibank Nigeria, where he was head of treasury operations and later assistant vice president in charge of World Corporations Group. He died in October after a brief illness and has since been buried. Oba Adeoye, Arise News, Lagos.